Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Stellaris on Insane Difficulty as the Collectors. We're playing with maximum crisis strength, uh, currently still have to contend with the Unbidden. Maybe we're gonna go for the Contingency after that. Um, and I finally reached the 500 battleships that I wanted to have in my main fleet. That is a pretty big stick that we can people uh, that we can beat people with. Um, we are upgrading them. Uh, I've actually gone ahead and changed my design. So both the Chrome Warrior and the Chrome Defenders now follow this design. And all I've really done is thrown out the shield capacitors um, for hull regeneration things because I. We gotta go for some hull tanking. So, um, battleships already have 2,400 hull points, and with our attack, they have actually considerably more. Even without the Admiral that gives us those 10%, we already have 3,700. So, with the Admiral, we're gonna have about 4,000 hull points. So, 4% uh, regeneration is not inconsiderable, um, I think. So, yeah. Um, Right, I've also queued up a bunch of corvettes. That should be a thing. Um, once I have the minerals, I'm also going to build a spaceport on him for Prime. I've gone through all the planets off, off camera and um, built up uh, all the facilities and stuff that we had on there. So we don't have to do that on camera. Oh yeah, I think 500 corvettes will be built pretty quickly. Maybe we even go for another 500. Um, so that we have two screening fleets and one big artillery fleet that can do damage from the back. It sounds like kind of a plan, I think. Come on, switch. Surviving infrastructure. Infrastructure that survives the great nuclear war which ruined Sir, Sir Sehuvis. I have proved a great boon to our corners. The alien civilization that once lived there built highways connecting the major population centers and some of them are still in good enough condition to be used today. We've also been able to recycle a large amount of building material for many ruins that dot the landscape, further improving our colony's infrastructure. Yay! Okay, so yeah, so Hoovis is one of the planets that I've colonized very recently. It's gonna be a science planet. That's pretty useful, surviving infrastructure. I mean, I already queued up a bunch of stuff, but mainly we just wanna try to get rid of the um, tile blockers. I've started to terraform that into a machine world though. We're also colonizing Bion Desert Prime over here to push the borders of these guys further and further back so that we can at some point maybe gain the Dyson Sphere here. By the way, we do have the Hyperlanes on which is not the greatest for performance so I'm gonna turn them off again. They didn't really help us um, because this whole galaxy is forced to use warp drives or jump drives if they wanna. Hmm. So the first round of Corvettes is out. Communications alert. What's happening? What do you want? Active sensor link. Yeah, you can have that. Still have the dithyric gas from them. Mm. Oh yeah, and I've actually redesigned the Corvettes too. So I've taken away that um, missile that we had over there. They only have neutron torpedoes. Um, I put a second shield on there by getting rid of the shield capacitor. I think that's better. Um, that won't do much for them, but um, it saves some energy so that we now have two shields. So they can survive maybe a little bit longer. I've also dropped the subspace sensors one level to be able to actually afford the second shield. That is pretty important to me. Yeah, I guess I should also start building corvettes on those planets. It's gonna take a while until we've built all of them. Let's make it happen. We have a huge empire now, so why not use that? Our Dyson Sphere is also moving forward, only a thousand more days. And then once we get that one over here too, things are gonna be kinda nice on the resource front. Still terraforming this thing. Still gonna take a good long while, and we can't colonize it as of yet. Spaceport is done. Really? Okay then. Construction complete. Oh yeah, okay, so most of these spaceports are already done. Building ships. Gotta give them something to do then. How's my sector? Well, actually, I cannot afford the influence to. Construction do complete. anything in that regard. Yeah, the AIs are just happy to hang out in the area of my vessel, in the space of my vessel. 
don't think they're really gonna help me. But we're gonna see. Maybe they're gonna come to my aid once I actually make a decided attack on the Unbidden. Because most of them have active sensitings with me by now, so... Maybe they're actually gonna act. I don't know. See how it goes. Construction complete. Okay. Build a bunch more Corvettes. So every month we can build... Like 10 Corvettes, I think. Actually, 20 Corvettes is what we can do. Construction complete. No, it's not true. No, it's not true. I can build 10. Because 5 costs 1,000 and we gain 2,000 per month. All right, then. I see how it is. Well, yeah, we're gonna go massively over force limit, but what else can I do? Um, I was thinking about just building more complete. battleships. But the thing is, complete. I can't afford another another 4,000 naval cap, complete. but I can probably afford another one or 2,000. That help my battleships. By drawing some fire. So I guess that's how we're gonna play it. Mm, I don't really want to exchange complete. any more of the energy credits now for minerals, because I really would like to have about 30,000 if we're actually going to go to war. Complete. And we're still building a spaceport in Iblaranda, where it has been destroyed in the past. Hmm. Oh yeah, for the building of corvettes, it's not so much the amount of systems, because they get built really fast, so you don't need a lot of systems to build a, a big corvette fleet. And they are gonna rally towards Gentle Mother. I only have 180. Complete. Construction complete. Still haven't gotten a reinforcement fleet. Oh yeah, they built the anchor in a way that I can't really reach it unless I engage with the big fleet. It's probably clever. Construction wise, complete. I guess, even. Construction complete. Maybe the AI is just looking at my fleet power and is like, well, I can't win with that, so we're not going to join the battle. That might be it. Ringworld projects, really, the great old ones are building ringworlds. <laughs> oh well then. They can have Construction it complete. if they need it. Almost there. Yeah, you can see our borders are pushing and pushing. If I can get that one, I can get that one. And then this should maybe come into my space. I hope so. Have we not colonized that one yet? I guess we haven't. Going only for Biondazart Prime. Construction complete. I'm gonna colonize that one too. What is bait? Bait, you're gonna send another colony ship over there. Construction complete. Hmm. Not a lot of spots where I can put down a thing, but oh well. Construction complete. Let's build more Corvettes. More Corvettes. More Corvettes. Corvettes everywhere. Much faster to build 500 Corvettes than to build 500 battleships. <laughs> Could even go for two 500 Corvette fleets to shield the big fleet. Construction. Uh, we're gonna try it with one, um, and then we'll see how it goes. Just hoping that the evasion will actually do things for us. We have seventy-seven percent evasion. Construction now. complete. Going without any armaments is pretty bad, so I decided to at least keep the neutron torpedoes. Complete. I, could, I mean, I mean, it could also go with the autoguns, but complete. 
Those torpedoes are not bad because they will strip the shields and then the artillery can go right for the hulls of the unbidden uh, ships. Oh yeah, and they got another one. Got another fleet. Where are you going? Nowhere. Just as well. Yeah, that's not going to be a strong fleet. Like, those 500 corvettes are probably going to like amount to maybe 100k or something. Uh, from the looks of it, maybe 140k. So, not amazing. But it's something. Wondering if I shouldn't just move those battleships in there. Uh, let's upgrade them to the current designs. I wonder if they're actually going to drop in power. We're currently at 39.3. Let's see what that does. Construction complete. Swapping out those components. The additional thing that why I like the regenerative hull tissue is um, that it gives us more operational options because we don't have to return home to repair. I mean, we also have regeneration admirals. Ship augmentations completed. Yeah, no, the power stayed the same. I guess it's mainly the armaments on the ships. Okay, let's go ahead. Construction Hold. complete. Build a couple more. Construction complete. Something like that. I also gotta make sure that I complete. upgrade those spaceports. Construction complete. A couple more level six spaceports are probably gonna come in handy. So Hoovis, your spaceport is also not fully upgraded. Construction complete. Hmm. I'm at 26, 26 core systems now. Kind of ridiculous, really, that number. We're gaining 17 from the administrative efficiency tech. <laughs> Planetary surface settlement established. Okay, no, no colony ship. So, by on desert, you're also going to gain a spaceport. Um, you, we're going to put the spare parts depot on there. And then build pops. What are we going to do with this one? Looks like another mineral planet to me. No, not the Ministry of Culture. Oh, I'm just lacking. Ministry of Culture costs nothing. It also doesn't help me. I don't need any more unity. Because I'm just going to ignore it then. What? Oh, the Biondas art system actually put me above the sector limit. Apparently the capacity. Yeah, I can't really have that. I mean, I'm not too interested in the Biondas art system. I guess I'm just going to wait until the other world has been colonized too, and then I'm just going to give it away. Burning it up is fine. We could definitely do with a solar panel at work on that one. Active sensor link has timed out. Technological acquisition successful. All right, mine, mine, mines everywhere. Don't think the sector is actually gonna change that if I give that to them. Yay! More kinetic weapon attack speed. Let's go for some more hull points. From all the options, this is the best. Construction for us. complete. Another five percent. It's never bad. Construction complete. If only I could Garanthi could get Garanthi more. That would give me another ten percent, which would be kind of nice, kind of handy. So where are we? In terms of ships, three hundred and twenty-four, and a couple still rallying. Construction complete. Construction complete. Let's make that happen. Oh, I'm already out. Planetary <laughs> settlement procedure initiated. Okay, setting another planet. It's not going to cause any problems with the core systems. Um, because it is in another one of these directly controlled ones. I really don't want to give it away, though. Maybe I'm just going to keep it, wait until I research another... 
like another um, administrative efficiency tech. We don't have one in here, right? I didn't think so. Oh, wait. Right. Hmm. 13 more months until we get another 5% energy credits. Yeah, we're already significantly over, though. That additional... Yeah, that core sector stuff really didn't help all that much. Guess I can just give away Fuahiri. Because the planets are in themselves are done, kind of. I'm gonna invest something to bump them up, but construction complete. I just very recently upgraded those planetary processes. My yeah, so basically put a final round of upgrades on those planets and then give them to a sector is probably what we're gonna do. Then I can upgrade the other planets. Sector AI just is too stupid to be trusted. Okay, that planet is done. Complete. Chim leak started to integrate Lox Ungrek. Okay. You decide. Construction complete. If you think that's best. This is almost in our space. Which gives me another outpost. Complete. Which conceivably would also bring this inside my space. I do want that Dyson Sphere over there. <laughs> that's a lot of energy. Even if we don't use it for energy, I can always exchange it for minerals or, or something complete. else, but... Construction complete. Actually, talking about exchanging for minerals, I... We're probably better off at least exchanging some of that energy that we currently have for minerals. We're still gaining some. So let's go ahead, fully upgrade that planet. I almost have the influence to settle another planet, which I probably will do. Mm, that's a 16 tile Gaia world. Complete. Maybe just settle that one and put a couple of biopops on there. But at this point, I'd need a crap ton of um, biopops to even get to the to the normal morale. We have 93 planets and 1400 people. 37. These guys have a thousand pops. Yeah, we have way more planets than anyone else. Like by a factor of three or four, even in some cases. Some cases, even more. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, how are the. How are you guys coming along? 369. Still not enough. Construction complete. Yeah, funny. I thought I could do this in between episodes with the Corvette building thing, but it really is not quite as easy. I mean, what does it cost? Like five, uh, like a hundred thousand? Five of these cost me a thousand. Fifty of them cost ten thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. All those Corvettes. All those 500 Corvettes. Ship augmentations completed. Okay, Collectathon has been... What? I didn't even send the Collectathon to be upgraded. Oh, right. No, I did. Right. Now they have the whole regeneration on them. Yeah, I could just give Fuiri away. Don't need the spaceports. It's all fine and dandy. Surfaces are being upgraded. I'm just, uh, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. Planets and sectors. Hmm. None of these guys really have significant amounts of minerals in the sector. Energy credits, yes, but minerals, no. I have that one. Okay, good. I like it. And if I colonize more places, probably also going to have to give more places away. Hmm, there's another planet in the Sahuvis system. So why not colonize that one, eh? We had 50 influence, so... Let's use bait for that, as always. Put you down here, we get the maximum bonus. Oh yeah, we have another 3,000 minerals, so let's go ahead. 
And we're definitely gonna dip into the negative once we pull that fleet out. Wait, 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 wait. No, not you. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, how's it looking? 391. We, yeah, we're probably there. We're probably there. So I've queued up and complete. a bunch more. Construction complete. I could also just send these guys into battle aside from those. Construction complete. The big problem is gonna is gonna be if we actually lose this fleet like really hard. Because then these guys won't have a problem with coming out. So it's still gotta be a hit and run. Just gotta be a more successful hit and run complete. this time. Where we can maybe actually take this um, defending fleet down a million maybe. Or maybe a little bit more. Depending on how things go. They can't really gain any more strength by leveling up their leader. So that's something. I'm actually considering getting rid of the range guy and instead taking the fire rate um, ship regeneration. But then again, complete. the range is pretty good. Shame that we can't change the Admiral mid-battle. I will probably be best. Use the range guy until he's no longer useful, then swap him out for the other guy. Who's better at close, close quarters combat? 412... Are we still building ships? Doesn't look like it. We're still not at the 500. Holy cow. Construction it takes complete. forever. Come on. No dawdling. Hmm. Yeah, those construction ships are just hanging out. Probably not doing all that much. Don't even have any minerals. No way. Construction no. complete. Assisting research. Construction complete. And we've got the superconductivity. That helps a little bit. Weapons damage. I mean, shield hit points are also good. So I think energy credits are more important at this point. How are the borders moving? Almost. Almost. But then even if I build an outpost here, there's still no guarantee that we're going to get this under our control complete. too. But I can try. A man can dream. So that was him for a prime looking. Okay, yeah, you at least built up fully. Complete. That's nice, I guess. I'm gonna build you up to the max. Bound Kundas is moving forward. You have been upgraded. Let's at least throw the solar panel on there. And I think this is gonna be a science planet, so put the observatory on there too. How's it looking? 436. Close. We're getting closer and closer. I actually wanted to make this attack this episode, but it looks like it's going to be next one. Construction wrong. complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. And if we build a couple too many, it's not the end of the world. I'd rather just get it over quickly. 4,500... Construction complete. I really would like to have a second one too. Complete. Like send them in from different directions too, so they're completely distracted. Bit of a shame that they have one of these fleets now. If only they were to build another station out there, they might conceivably also pull the other AIs in there. I mean, there's a fair complete. amount of fleet strength. Does it really come to my aid? There is a chance that we can dispatch them. Like they, even this system has like half a million in there, I think. Architects Foundation has finished its Dyson Sphere. Ours is going to be done in 20 days too. So that's good. That's another 250. Complete. I like that. And then we can probably also get a second one over here. Thing is, I really want, want to get it without war. I'm not interested in those planets or anything. 
Three, two, one. Yay! Energy output nominal. Great. That finishes the last of our great um, mega structures from the Galactic Wonders perk. So, I guess that's fair. We're at 465. Still not quite there. Still not quite there. Definitely gonna build a bunch in Sildor because it doesn't have any travel time there. Construction complete. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, gonna finish building up our corvettes next episode. I'm pretty sure that we can also make the attempt on the gate next episode. Let's let's see what we can do with our hit and run method. For now, though, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, uh, please consider subscribing. Hope you join next time. Bye bye.